back to my YouTube channel and for today's video it's another episode of Bake With Me but today we're making something a little bit different we are making a Mars bar slice I'm so excited I think we better just get into it because I'm so excited to make these but before we do don't forget to like subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video don't forget to follow all my social medias they'll be on the screen so you can go check them out and without further ado let's get into it so the first thing that we're gonna do is line our tray this is the tray i have it's just a black square one just flatten your baking paper out inside and you lift it over so there's our tray lines and now we can actually start cooking the first thing that we're going to do is chop our mars bars i have nine bars here which are 33.8 grams each and you don't have to do this with mars bars you can do this with literally any chocolate but i'm doing it with mars bars today and so i'm going to open them all up and then chop them and be careful because knives are sharp so don't cut yourself but you just want to chop them just into small pieces it doesn't have to be very finely chopped you can chop them literally into quarters but it's just to make it easier when we go to the stove because we're gonna have to melt these <music> to the side for a minute and we're going to grab our unsalted butter our scale and a bowl we're going to measure 90 grams of unsalted butter we're going to chop a little bit up at a time and just add it into the bowl until we get to 90 grams <music> one grams which is fine with one gram over so that's all the butter we need and now we can go to the stove so now that we've got our butter and our mars bars ready we're going to start melting them so i've got my saucepan or pot here i'm going to turn the heat on to about seven i think i think that's hot enough to melt the butter and we're going to pour the butter in, all of it in, and it's going to start melting. Once the butter's melted, we're going to add our chocolate. Sorry, my dogs are drinking in the background. <laughs> but the butter is all melted. We're going to pour in the chopped Mars balls. Okay, so let's pour it in. Oops. We're going to stir these until they are completely mixed in. three cups slowly into the chocolate off the heat now we're going to pour three cups one at a time into the mars bars so now we're gonna pour the rice krispies into our lined tray and we're just gonna flatten them down a bit
whilst the Rice Krispies are setting, we're gonna take our milk chocolate and we're gonna measure out 200 and... Where's my recipe? Here. We're gonna measure out 250 grams of milk chocolate and we're gonna melt it. So, I have 47, how much is one bar? This is 200 grams, 201 grams. 250, perfect, okay. Now we're gonna melt this on a double boiler. Now we have our bowl on top of the boiling water. You, use bo you put boiling water in a pot, you heat it up and then you pour the chocolate in the bowl so that it can melt. So I'm gonna grab my chocolate and we're just gonna put it in the bowl. And to make it easier to melt, you just break up the pieces and it melts so much quicker and so much easier, so much easier. And you can stir this whilst you're doing it, but just be careful you don't burn yourself with the water because sometimes the water can splash. Seconds later. Ooh, it's melting. Ah. Ah. Holy cow. Okay, um, we had a little bit of a spillage. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it off. And that is why, kids, you should use a bigger bowl and make sure that it's not gonna do that. Where's the cloth? Here's a cloth. Whilst the chocolate is melting, we're gonna take out Rice Krispie Cheeks treats that we put in the fridge, out of the fridge. Okay, let's take them out. Ooh, yep, yeah, that's set, okay. Mm, I think it's all melted now. Okay, so we're just gonna pour it and hope for the best. I can't guarantee it will be the best, but like, hopefully it is. So I guess I'm just gonna spoon it. Now that we have successfully poured the chocolate onto the Rice Krispies, we're gonna grab the extra Mars bowl. We're going to break it up into pieces just like that and i'm just gonna put it all over the top let's put it in the fridge one hour later so i kind of got distracted and forgot about my rice krispie treats but it's okay they've been in the fridge now for about half an hour or so hopefully they are set now and the chocolate is set so let's see if they're set they are quite a bit set and i think i can eat them so i'm gonna grab my plate here and a knife and i'm just gonna cut them into squares to make them even stuff so i'm gonna take this end piece it's like in the middle on the end it's this piece right here ah! oopsie doopsies okay it's fine we good i'm gonna take my fork and we're gonna try it in three two one Mmm. 
pull up. That is so good. I would 8 out of 10 recommend this. It's so good. Well, guys, I think that brings us to the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know if you guys make this because it is so good and so delicious. And it's just really easy. So, let me know in the comments down below if you make this. And if you did, let me know what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it amazing? Let me know what you think. But guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 2 of Baking With Me. And let me know if you want an episode 3 because I'm definitely going to make this a series because I just love it. Um, so, yeah. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on this post notification so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to follow all my social medias. They'll be on the screen so you can go check them out. And thanks for watching. Bye.